Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 5 of Hippo Talks About Games. It's really grainy. I've been playing a few games, you know, the usual. Doing some homework, listening to some music. So let's cut to the chase. Okay, so... This week I have been playing, uh, first I've been playing more DJ Hero. It's really fun still. I'm having a lot of fun with the songs. The more I play the songs, the more I'm enjoying them. If you are iffy about this game at first, I and you ha like music games and you like DJs, you like raves, just get the regular version. It's really fun. It's definitely worth it. You'll have a blast, I, I promise you. But there's DLC out for now, and the two songs that it comes with are fun. And I don't even remember if they're fun. I'm just saying that to make it interesting. And then I had a little spell of Guitar Hero games that I started playing. But I had a double bass for a while, and I was like, hey, I'll go back to Metallica, play some songs. I played one song, actually. Then I got bored. I played Master of Puppets, double bass, five star, yeah! And then Smash Hits, I wanted to play... Uh, some Raining Blood, of course, Through the Fire and Flames, Play With Me. I don't know, some good songs in there. Then I went over to Guitar Hero 5 and I started playing just Spirit of Radio, some songs that I liked in that game that I started playing again. That's why I keep the Guitar Hero games, because I think that they each have their own songs, and I'm going to go back to them eventually, and just there's going to be a song that I want to play, and I'll just go ahead and play that song. Um, I got something in the mail this week, or last week. It was this. Fairy tale fights, and it came with a bunch of crap, or not crap, a bunch of cool stuff, a bunch of cool produce. But fairy tale fights, it's basically a game where you um, you play as either Jack and the Beanstalk, uh, Little Red Riding Hood, Snow White, or Naked Naked Prince. This whole game takes place in like a magical like. Mother Goose fairy tale. Oh, Xbox pajamas again! No, I don't always wear these. I just switch my pajamas tonight, and they're comfy because it's cold in here. You kill like lumberjacks, and then there's gingerbread men, and big gingerbread man. And the boss fights are really cool so far. I'm really enjoying the boss fights. It's it's a hack and slash, so you use the right the what's it called? The right like knob thing that moves around. You use that, and you attack different directions and do combos and stuff. And uh, you can pick up different weapons, there's a lot of variety. That's the one thing I like, there's a lot of variety of weapons in this game. But it's really gory. This game is, has absolutely a lot of gore in it, a lot of blood. And they have a feature where you can like slide on the blood. If they give you achievements for the amount of time, you slide on the blood. And you go through these different levels, collecting treasure chests, killing all- <coughs> oh, I'm getting swine flu, clearly. Killing things. Uh, loot. Losing a lot of money. You have to collect gold. I'm not really sure what it does except for help make the statue in the main lobby area, which is like a little town and has all your stats and your little statue and your settings. But the one thing I really hate about, like hate, hate is a strong word, boys and girls. The amount of money you lose from dying. I'll be in a level, I'll have a hundred thousand dollars and by the time I'm finished a little section of the level, I'll be down to 800 bucks because once they start attacking you, you can't block it. You will get fly up, you'll land on their heads, bounce, fall off, they'll attack you again, it'll just keep happening. It's so annoying. And then if you jump off the edge, you'll lose like 2,000 coins every time you do it. I, I looked up the stats. I have $2 million gained and I've lost 1,880,000 1, of it to deaths. The game has a four-player co-op, online multiplayer two to four, so it's a two, two to four-player co-op game. I have not tried the co-op. I'm thinking the game will be a lot more fun in co-op because the enemies, they're going to have four billion enemies attacking one person. I still need to finish the game. So that's that. I'll get a review up for that uh, if I do a video for it. On another note, I have been playing Torchlight, which is a game from the developer Runic Games. It's an RPG. I found it, it's actually really fun right so far. I'm not too far into it because I keep dying, but but you walk around, you, got, you get quests from people, you collect things, you kill things, you get spells, you get items, you get gold, you get all the RPG stuff. It's easy to control. 
your character, it's easy to control everything. I love the graphics, it's really cartoony and I like that. You can have guns in it, so you can have, you can dual wield a gun and a sword, so you can shoot off some bone, bone some noobs in the distance as some skeleton is attacking, you just cut his face. You can enchant your items, which is also cool. I don't like how you can't hold very much in your bag or whatever it's called. I, I know my cat can hold stuff, but I just don't, I can't figure out how to give my cat anything. At points in the game, there's a lot of enemies, like a lot, and it helps to use magic. Like I've been leveling, leveling up my mag one of my magics for a while, so it's really powerful. But there'll be like forty bats and like a hundred dragons after you. I I'm in a place now where I can't, like I I just die continuously. But what's cool is when you die, you can either return to the town and lose nothing, return to the beginning of where you are and lose the amount of gold or you can lose amount a higher amount of gold and a a stat or a spell or something and restart right where you were gold is really easy to come across in the game because every enemy you kill pretty much drops either gold or a sword or something or the other I'm enjoying it so far i'll update you on this too next week again i'm gonna try and get a written review up of this I caught up on my Rock Band DLC, I bought all the Wolf Mother, Rob Zombie, um, the Foo Fighters stuff, the Nirvana stuff, I haven't played them all yet because it's a lot of songs, but I also played the Left 4 Dead 2 demo a lot more on the Xbox, I don't know if I'm more excited for that or if I'm more excited for Modern Warfare 2, um, they're both coming out next week, except for Left 4 Dead's coming out the week after next week. I am going to the midnight launch of Modern Warfare as of today, I found somebody at my work, like I work at Zeller's and it's like here and then there's a game stop like right next to it when you leave into the mall so we close at 10 for some reason the mall closes at 9 so we're just gonna chill there for two hours and then he's gonna drive me home so that'll be fun my mother me and my mother and my sister um we're gonna go see a medium so we can talk talk to the dead and it's like a dinner and a show it's gonna be really cool he's the one who helped my mom's friends whose daughter can see um the undead I'm pretty stoked for that show too, so Modern Warfare and a show with ghosts this week for me. There's Modern Warfare 2, Dragon Ball Raging Blast, I have no idea what that is. I'm guessing a Dragon Ball Z game. Dream Killer for the 360, and NBA 2K10 for all you ballas out there. That has been my week, not very interesting this week, um, I haven't really got around to playing things fully so I'll have I'll tr I'll get a uh, review for fairy tale fights up a written review and a written review for torchlight once I finish both games subscribe over there my brothers and sisters and um, comment oh crap I forgot about the contest uh, BRB okay so I remember it now I have all the names here going into this hat so yeah live drawing well not really live but you get to see me do it so you know it's not rigged I don't really need to close my eyes because I'm not looking I don't know why people do that here's the winning ballot the winner is Echo Golf Sierra Woo! congratulations you want a copy of Defense Grid I don't know I'll contact you okay I'll get you your code. Don't worry about it. Well, have a good day, everybody. Um, stay safe and have fun playing some Modern Warfare 2. Hook me up with an invite when we'll play on Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday or Saturday or Sunday. Peace! Oh, hey, just here underwater. Um...